Okay, today we're going to go through how we're going to prepare our images for depth of field. We're going to be uh, aligning these, stacking these, we're going to be doing some white balance. Uh, some of this is going to happen in Bridge, some of this is going to happen in Photoshop. Uh, we're going to start by locating our images that we have taken for our depth of field. We should have five sets. You can see down here in my uh, bridge. I have one, two, three, four. Uh, I have all five sets. One, two, three, four, five. I've already prepared this set. I've already prepared this set. So I'm going to do this knob. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to select both of these by holding down my shift key because they're right next to each other. If they weren't next to each other, I'd use my command key. Command key, I can select images that are not next to one another. But if I want to select images that are next to each other, I can just hold down my shift key and it will select the whole string of images if I want to. Um, that's the difference between those two. So shift key for a picture right next to uh, the original one. So I have both of these images selected. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open them in Camera Raw. So I'm going to come to my file menu and I'm going to open in Camera Raw. And when I do that, they're going to open up in Camera Raw. And over on the left hand side, I'm going to see that both of these images are now open. But I want to work on both images at the same time. And how do I do that? I'm going to click Select All and that will select both of these images. You can see both images are now selected. And I'm going to synchronize these two images. Now synchronize, what that does is if I make changes in one image, it's going to automatically change it in the second image. And since these images were the same image basically with only my uh, f-stop setting and my time setting were different, but the image basically is the same, I'm going to hit synchronize because I want to synchronize both of those images. And you're going to see that everything that is checkmarked here is going to be synced with both images. So I'll do OK. And now when I change anything in my white balance over here, uh, it is going to change both images. So if I make this a little warmer, I'm going to back out so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, change my clarity a little bit, maybe my contrast, uh, might need to add a little fill light just to get that light back in. I'm not really happy how this bulb didn't come in really good focus, but it focused more on the shaft than it did the ball. Uh, but what you're going to see over here on the left side is both of these images are being adjusted at the same time and that happened because I synchronized. Alright, so once I'm happy with everything I've done here, I'm not going to click Done, I'm not going to click Cancel, I'm not going to click Save Images. What I'm going to click is Open Images down here because that is going to open these two images in Photoshop. So I'm going to click Open Images and it's going to open them in Photoshop and uh, it's going to open them in separate windows. They're not going to be together. Oh, there's one that I already did. Uh, but they're not going to be together. They're going to be separate. And you'll see that... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close that one because I'm done with it. Uh, you're going to see up here that both of these images are open. Now, one of them is highlighted, and that's the one I'm looking at right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Move tool, which is this first tool on my toolbar on the left-hand side. And I'm going to click, and I'm going to drag that down to separate it. So now what I have is I have both of these images separate. And I'm going to drag this image that's on top to the other image. So using my Move tool, I'm just going to click and drag it and drop it. So what I've done is I have put one image on top of the other image. And I'll line that up pretty good here. And I can see that over here 
uh, in my layer panel. Now, if you do not see the layer panel, you need to go to Window and make sure that you see where it says Layers under Window, or you can hit F7, that you want to see this layer panel. Okay? Now, this is showing us what's in our image. And we have two different layers. We have a layer one and we have a background. Uh, we are going to name these layers. We're going to name them whatever they are here. If this is the uh, long depth of field or the short depth of field. Now I can tell by just looking at this image and seeing that everything here is pretty much in focus. So this would be my long depth of field. So I'm going to double click that where it says layer one, click, click, and I'm going to call this long, and I'm going to hit return. Where it says background, that's going to be my short depth of field, so I'm going to double click that. Now since this is the background and it's locked, I get this little window that says, oh, you're going to create a new layer, it's going to be called layer zero, so it's a workable layer, and I'm going to call this short, since my other one was long, and I'm going to do OK. So you can see that I have my long and short layers down here. So that's the way it should look, long and short. All right. Now what I need to do is I need to align these two images so they're pretty much the same. And I'm going to show you what that's going to look like. So I'm going to click on long because it's on top. I'm going to click the top layer. And I'm going to change my opacity down here to about 60%. And what that's going to do is I'm going to be able to see both images. See, I can see both images here. I can see those screws doubled up. See that? I can see both screws here. I can see both knobs. And I want this image to be aligned as best as possible. So I'm going to go up here. Oh, I have to select both layers. almost forgot. I have to select both of these layers. So I have to click long. And then I'm going to hold my mouse over short. I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to click and I'm going to select both layers. I held my shift key when I did that. Then I'm going to come up here to where these two faces are at and I should be on my move tool. You have to be on your move tool when you're doing this. And I'm going to click these two faces. Now what's going to happen when I do that? It's going to say, oh, you want to auto align your layers. And I'm just going to do auto and I'm going to do OK. And what the computer is going to do is it's going to try to line these layers up the best possible. And basically what it did is it lined up this ball. You notice the screw is still not quite aligned, uh, but that's okay. And to do that, it had to change the size of one of the images. If you look real close here, you're going to see this line. You see that line right there? So that's showing that this image is really small. It made one image really small to fit that ball, but that's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to crop these two images the same size. So I'm going to come to my crop tool, and my crop tool is one, two, three, four, five tools down, and it's called the crop tool. Now if you don't see it, five tools down, and you might see the slice tool or this other selection tool. Uh, just go to the crop tool and you'll see it. And then right up here at the top you'll see where it says width and height. I want to make sure that that width is at seven inches. And I want to make sure the height is at five. Okay. And when I crop, so when I pull the crop tool here, so I'm going to click and drag, it's going to make a perfectly 7 inch by 5 inch box. Now I don't want to go past where that image was not aligned. I want to be right on it. I'm going to put that I'm going to put that knob kind of at my uh, rule of third right side point. And once I get it cropped then I just hit enter. And now I have these two images cropped. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stack them on top of one another. So I'm going to go back to my long. So I click my long. I'm going to turn my opacity back to 100%. Okay. So there's my long. And I'm going to come up here to image. 
and I'm going to go to canvas size, canvas size. And what you're going to see is this box. All right. And this box is going to show me my width is 7 and my height is 5. Well, 5.001 is pretty close. Uh, what I want, though, is I want to stack these two images on top of each other. So I have two images. So automatically, I know my height is going to be, and I can just type that in there, is going to be 10. But I want a little space in between. I want like a half inch in between. So I'm going to do 10.5. And I'm going to, this right here where it says anchor, this is where my original image will sit. And I'm going to put it on the top. All right. So once I get that done, you do OK. And you're going to see that our original image is up on top. And the other image is on the bottom. And I want to scoot this up. And I'm going to take my move tool. And I'm going to move this down to the bottom. Just set it on the bottom. There we go. And so I have my half inch in between. We'll look at that. So there's our two images. We have actually now long is on the bottom and short is on the top. Okay. So now that image is done. So we can do a file save as. And we're going to save this in a new folder. And this should be in your folder. Uh, but you're going to create a new folder. And that new folder is going to be called DOF hyphen your last name. OK? Now you know you can create a new folder down here in this window. Oops, sorry. Where it says new folder. OK? So you should have a folder called DOF hyphen your last name. You can see that I've already done a couple of sets here. I've done my first set. I've done my second set. So now I'm going to do this is my third set. So up here on the name, I'm going to change that to DOF3 hyphen my last name. Okay. And I'm going to save. Now, I know you guys noticed that there were two images for each one of those sets because I'm going to save this again, save as, and right here where it says format, I'm going to change that format to JPEG. The reason we're doing that is because we are going to put these five images in a PowerPoint uh, to also turn in. So we're going to save that. Okay. Once you have that saved, you're ready to go back to bridge and do your next set. You can close all this stuff. Don't have to save that. That's one from before, and I don't have to save that. Then I can go back to bridge, and I can start doing my next set. Okay. Uh, if you have any questions, please see me in class. Thanks.